Hello friends, welcome to Knitography. I'm Patricia and I'm coming to you from my studio in the middle of Norway. I hope you all have been really well this past week. It's been a very busy week for me and I'm just popping in to give you a little update about my projects, what's going on on the farm, and some upcoming events. So I hope you have a cup of tea. I've just made myself a, a cup of tea. And as we do in Norway, we can begin by talking about the weather. So yesterday, uh, once again, I was tempted out into the sunshine, into the forest, uh, and I took my work along with me. So I took some knitting, and I took a, a, a thermos of coffee, and uh, I was polishing and finishing lots of blockers, and I just went into a bare patch uh, in the forest and sat down and spent the day there. And all of a sudden, the wind picked up, and now we're in the middle of sort of a very heavy, blustery storm here on the mountain. So today, I have been mostly inside. Um, I tried to take a quick walk around, but it is just blowing fiercely. Uh, so I've been inside the studio, and I've been getting lots of work done. And uh, yeah, I've had a lovely weekend, but the weekends go so quickly. Uh, but I tried to use my day and the daylight uh, on task and uh, to be outside. So we don't have perfect lighting, but I hope that, um, yeah, just checking in anyway, getting over the lighting uh, uh, will be just okay. Uh, so I wanted just to begin to let you know that um, I want to thank everybody that contacted me from last week. Uh, if you contacted me and you purchased my uh, Selbu block blockers, my Selbu sock blockers, or my Selbu mitten blockers, I want to thank you very much for your purchases and supporting my little farm dream. Uh, I also want to thank those of you that shared. Uh, if you shared on social media, on Facebook or Twitter or other platforms uh, that I don't really uh, engage in, I just want to thank you very much for that. Um, I have to say, uh, dreams do not come easily and they do not come quickly, And uh, I, but I am getting close to halfway and uh, that really feels wonderful. I've got to keep working hard, keep getting the word out um, about my uh, little farm project, and hopefully as more people uh, hold the product in their hands and understand my story, uh, yeah, I'll keep working toward my goal. If you haven't uh, read my story or you don't know the story, uh, my little farm story of bringing my sheep home, uh, you can go to my Knitography website and you can read it there. Um, this is a product that is from the birch trees uh, here on my farm. They're all handmade by me and um, I use only natural materials. I use uh, a bees polish. Uh, the bees are from my neighboring farmer's farm. He's teaching me how to have bees here on my farm and in the meantime I have developed a polish uh, that keeps these blockers uh, just being natural and close to the earth. So these are my sock blockers, my Selbu sock blockers. They're quite an intricate design. I don't have any out in the world yet. Uh, they're on their way. Uh, but the mitten blockers are the same. Uh, they come in uh, small, medium, and large, just like the sock blockers. And uh, you go to my website and you find out how to take the correct measurements, and then you can order them for yourself. On the website, of course, it says because we make them one by one and piece by piece, and um, we I put a lot of um, yeah time into each piece. Uh, I have a projected amount of time before the shipping. Um, but I have to say that I'm in a very good rhythm now, and for those of you that uh, ordered from the start, the shipping time is reduced, and I got many products out uh, from the last two weeks in the post today. So that feels really, really, really nice. Um, 
there were a lot of uh, local people in Norway that posted this week and uh, shared a lot of beautiful feedback and also in Sweden and uh, Germany and so on that uh, you know that that's very encouraging because it's one thing for me to love these blockers and to know uh, the care and the intention that I have put into them but it's another thing for someone to hold them in their hands and to actually try them and to use them and to say that they worked perfectly that means everything to me so that makes my little dream uh, very worth it indeed I love making things I love creating things and uh, especially if I know the person if I know you or I've had contact with you uh, then while I'm making them, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, um, yeah, good karma put into them because I, I'm actually thinking about you when I make them. So all of that information is on my website. And once again, I thank you, uh, really, uh, my heart is so full. And uh, as I say, I have a long way to go, but um, every day I'm working hard and trying, and I know that my message will continue to get out there and reach the people uh, that care about the same kind of um, uh, thoughtful intention in their the things that they purchase and the things that they use, and uh, I'm hoping that I'll keep uh, going until I reach my goal. So those are the things happening uh, with my farm project. Uh, Friday night, I was on the co-op. Uh, I was, um, yeah, how do you say it? I was substituting for another person that joins us on the co-op. And I was together with my sheep and all the animals there on the co-op. And uh, yeah, I could, you know, working on my dream and working on the co-op, I could really begin to feel that um, I'm, I'm actually on the road now for making it happen. It's been a lot of years that I've been trying to make it happen. And uh, yeah, I felt really much closer uh, to my dream, even that I have a long way to go. So the next thing that's very exciting, as you know, is that I am a distributor now for the Eventyr Volter book. And this book is the collection of patterns by the Teloga, which is the Hitten Guild uh, here in Norway. It is eight designers that are in this guild and they're, they have made this book. You know, actually last time I forgot, I have loved this book for so long, I didn't even share when the book was published. Yes, 2015. So I have loved this book for a very long time and uh, I have knit my way through this book and given many of these mittens, I've made the children's sizes and uh, I've knit a few and given them to friends. Um, but I am, yeah, my love of this book uh, has not waned. Uh, I have many uh, knitting books, but this one I come to again and again, uh, I guess because it's connected to stories and um, just the colorful patterns and so on. But anyway, I am distributing this book and I'm so excited to say that I sold out of my first uh, order from the publisher. Now, the thing about this book is I negotiated a really, really good deal for the book, but of course the shipping is outrageous. Um, to ship it outside of Norway is, yeah, that took a lot of work. So there's just one price. The price is $30, and that is the book and the shipping including, included. So um, this book is much more expensive in Norway, as all books are in Norway, very expensive. But you're getting um, a really, really good deal with this book. Um, after, you know, I pay the publisher and I pay the taxes and the shipping, um, I don't earn anything on this book. I'm only distributing it out of joy, and um, I'm, I've am just had so many questions about this book um, that I am uh, sending it out into the world, and I'm so excited to say uh, that I sold out, but I can open for orders once again. So if you have not gotten your Eventyr Volter book and you would like to order it, please go to my website and um, 
and you can uh, follow the instructions there about ordering it. Um, this book is going to go out again. Uh, I, I tell the people when they buy it in the coming weeks, and I am packaging up. I am packaging the books like crazy right now. I thought I would get them all out on Saturday, but that didn't happen. But they will be out very soon, and the second batch batch of books uh, will be going soon after. Now, why is it exciting to have this book when it's written in Norwegian? Well, firstly, I'm going to guide you through this book. So if you're watching this vlog, don't worry that it's in Norwegian. This book is fully charted. Um, every one of the patterns is charted. I'm going to go over the um, information with you. You can come back to uh, the, the vlog uh, when you're working on that pattern. Um, I will give you the yarn weights. I will give you, yes, all of the information, and you can make... Uh, notes right in in your book. Many people have said that they might wait till the book comes in English. This book is not going to be translated into English. There are two ebooks on Ravelry now with a selection of the pattern if you would rather have those. Um, go to Ravelry or actually if you go to my last week's vlog, the vlog just before this one, um, on the down bar you will get a link to both of those ebooks. So go there if you're not feeling confident, buy the digital edition, um, and you will get a selection of the patterns. But the Evan Tierwalter book is very special. You don't need to know Norwegian to use the book. And I'm going to guide you through all of the patterns. Uh, we will, yeah, I'll be knitting some of them myself. And uh, I'm having a virtual trunk show. So that's really the reason why I wanted to show the book again. Um, I have been so fortunate that the Vataloga has been willing to loan me all of the mittens and some uh, from this book. Um, and what was really funny was um, I got the first notification of the first package and I got really excited and I thought all the mittens were in there. And uh, many, many, many mittens are in that package. But then I was contacted by some other men members of the Vautologa, and I realized that that was not all of the mittens. So I am organizing the trunk show uh, as we speak, and um, it's going to be uh, in all of my upcoming vlogs. And it is going to be something wonderful that we can share together. As I told you on Mitten Day last year, I was there, I photographed, I touched, I I got to meet all of the Valtologa, almost all of them, and uh, had just a beautiful day celebrating mittens and yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I have to tell you, just holding them in your hands, having a close look at them, it's an amazing feeling. So I feel very fortunate and honored, and I'm going to take it very seriously and um, go through the book and take my time and really show them to you, especially for those that you of you that have uh, bought the book. This will be uh, uh, exciting for you because then you have the video to come back to uh, and to look at. So I'm not going to tease you this week. I am going to show you a pair of the mittens, and I am going to talk a little bit about them. And I'm going to start with the mittens that I shared on Instagram. One of the reasons I want to start here is because this is one of my favorite pairs of mittens. Um, these mittens uh, are designed by Tori Seierstad, and she is one of the prolific designers um, in the Valtologa. I want you to go and not only uh, yeah, look at these mittens, but I hope that you'll go to Ravelry and look at her other designs. She, Her designs are very, very unique. She has an amazing sense of color, and um, yeah, her designs are always really uh, intricately beautiful. And um, so I, yeah, I love her patterns. There is another uh, mitten in here that is just one of my favorites. 
So I am going to start off by showing you on page 35 in the Eventyr Walter book, I wanted to start with the Eventyr flower or Eventyr Blumstead mittens. This is the photograph of the mittens and you see they're on this beautiful uh, stick. Somebody commented about this book and uh, they were saying how they were really enjoying this book because the photographs really show off the mittens. And this is so true. You know, a lot of mitten books, you know, it's more about photographic uh, cinematography or whatever. But, and you don't often, you can't have a really up close look at the mittens. But in this book, all of the mittens, you have the possibility to look at them up close. Now, Tori Sayerstad, uh, as I say, has designed these mittens and they are knit out of the exact same uh, yarn that I am knitting my uh, test knit jumper for Ellie of Skandir out of. So I will show you that yarn. Um, it is Hillesvog Osk, which is a beautiful Norwegian wool. And I'm using the gray and the red, you might remember, um, from from Hillesvog and uh, I'll, of course I'll, I'll remind you when I look at the test knit but you can also knit these in Roma Fien Ulgarn she also uh, mentions Rurus Lamagarn and what I'm so excited about is um, not this coming week but next week I am going to be coming to you from Röros which is a beautiful village in Trendelag. The um, huge market is going on there and I'm going to be coming to you live from there and also I'm going to be vlogging from Röros during the market. Um, the the uh, gauge of the mittens is kind of like Roma um, and she gives you the needle size, she gives you all of the measurements, um, and then it's the basic uh, information about how to knit them. And you've got the chart. The chart is absolutely stunning. Just a quick peek, and then I show you the mittens. Here are the mittens. You see that the, um, that the cuff is knit in garter stitch, which is called Urulestrik Ponorsk. And uh, what's beautiful about uh, the cuff is that it can be knit as long or as short as you would like. This one is knit um, rather long, which I like myself. I'm just going to put it on. This mitten is really nice. It has the Selbu Sa'a style uh, tip or tup, and also. Uh, on the thumb and it has a beautiful you know the Hilsen I said it always has a little message on the thumb and this one is a little flower and inside there's another little uh, design so this chart is uh, uh, a little bit more intricate but a stunning result now, in the book, she also has, I don't have these in my possession. I don't know if they'll be uh, sent to me in the coming boxes because all of the Votologa, they knit different ones. But these have also been knit in a purple and white, just as beautiful. And I noticed that the cuff is a little bit different. This is more like the uh, traditional Selbu Walter cuff. But it goes through, it talks about the cuff, it talks about how to knit the, uh, the, uh, the mitten itself, it talks about how to decrease, um, and the decreases are exactly like a Selbu Votir. Then it's talking about the thumb, and she uses the, uh, you know, setting the thumb stitches off on waist yarn, uh, but you know that you can do an afterthought thumb uh, if, you, if that's your uh, choice. And then it talks about how to decrease for the thumb. So you've got the, you've got the thumb gusset. It has a gusset just like the Selbu uh, Walter. So this, this is a perfect choice to begin with. It's so connected 
uh, to the Selbu, uh, yeah, to the Selbu Walter, but it's a little bit more uh, intricate the knitting of it and it is stunning it's one of my favorite I'm so tempted to just cast this on right now and it's a beautiful fit um, I measured it and of course this one um, is it's more the size of my large um, my large Selbu uh, blocker uh, it's like 10 centimeters across let me just try it on my medium. Yeah, it's a little bit big for my medium blocker. So this this mitten, because of the size uh, that this one's knit in, is the size of the large blocker. Just beautiful. It's absolutely stunning uh, to hold them in my hands. These are the design by Tori Sayerstad. And um, I am going to put a link... Uh, below to her Ravelry page and I hope you will go there and look at her many designs. I know that one of the other Vot um members is now knitting a shawl. Uh, so she, she doesn't just have um, mittens. I, th I can't remember if it is her that has this beautiful sweater design also. She has many, many, many patterns. Um, she's a prolific designer. There's not actually a story uh, connected to this mitten that I can understand, but it is just, it's just fairy tale looking. And so it is called the fairy tale flower mittens. And I guess it would be, um, you know, like you would find in a fairy tale, just the beautiful uh, design from um, uh, magic and imagination. I love these mittens. So I wanted to share one pair of the mittens with you this week um, so that you could get excited about this book. And I don't know if I said it because I am so excited. If you want to knit these mittens, you can knit them in any color you want. And now you can go to Claire at the Woolly Thistle here in North America and you can get your Roma Fien Ulgarn to knit them. Um, but of course, any yarn uh, in that gauge will work for you. But Claire now has her stock uh, of Roma Fien Ulgarn and you would be ready to knit these mittens right off the bat. Remember in Europe also, if you want Ysolde, she also carries the Roma Fino Garn. And if you're in Norway, you know what to do. So that is a little bit about the upcoming trunk show. Now, I am so excited and I, I have a load of mittens that I'm taking such good care of. Um, for the upcoming uh, event and I'm waiting on right now. I know that I'm waiting for two other exciting packages So I hope you're really going uh, to enjoy the Eventyr Walter trunk show that's coming up uh, in collaboration with the Norwegian Mitten Guild here on Knitography Now speaking of the yarn that was used to knit these mittens. Uh, I have been working on my test knit. It's a little bit sad. Um, it's been very busy at work. I am trying my best to spin every day. I'm trying my best to knit every day. I've got some secret Selbu Walter mittens going on that I haven't shown on Instagram and I won't show on here yet. Um, but um, I have been knitting uh, a bit on uh, the um, pattern that I did with Pia. I'm not very far along because I had to turn my attention uh, to my farm work and also to Ellie of Skein Deer's Test Knit. I am knitting uh, Ellie's Skein, uh, yeah, from Skein Deer Knits, um, Blofjell Jumper. Now, I told you that I'm going to tell you the story of Blofjell and yeah, what it what it's all about when this sweater is finished and I am going to do that. What happens is um, I uh, took this, I've been knitting away on it 
and I it fits perfectly. The yoke fits me beautifully. And I knit, 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 and then I knit a longer, um, yeah, I knit it, I didn't knit it too long. I knit it, it's, I mean, for some people it might be called, um, it might be a cropped jumper, uh, but I knit this to uh, my, it's not too long and it's not too short, and then I knit the bottom. And I knit this quite long. I tried it on, it fits perfectly, it's right at my waist, it's the yoke sits gorgeously, and now I have picked up and I'm ready to do my sleeves. I really thought I was gonna be finished with this uh, this week, but that did not happen. So this week, I must finish these sleeves because then it is my winter break and I've got to uh, get moving on my, oops, uh, fern and feather body. I've got to finish this. I'm running a little bit behind because of my farm project. Um, uh, because I'm working on that every day and I'm really committed uh, to spinning my Grotrendusso fleece every night. Yeah, there's not enough hours in the day, but I'm not discouraged. I'm so thankful and I reflect in my knitting bag book every day. I knit a little bit every day. I spin a little bit every day and I'm working on my dream every single day. So when my knitting is a bit uh, sparse, we will have the Eventyr Vaulted um, trunk show to look forward to. So I still think there'll be some interesting content for those of you um, that um, are excited about that. Um, I did mention that Claire at the Woolly Thistle has the Roma Ul now available in her shop, among other beautiful wools. Um, but I am also uh, working with Claire uh, for her mitten along. You know that I'm doing the Year of the Mitten uh, and on Instagram, and we know that um, Rachel of Treehouse Knits is doing her um year of the mitten 2018 on Ravelry because she's active there. There is the basket of mittens by um, my woolly mitten, uh, Carrie of her farm. Every day when I feel um, I need a little bit of inspiration, I go to the hashtag. There are some stunning mittens right now. Um, as we move along into February, um, Oh, stunning Latvian mittens, Russian mittens. There's lots of um, color work mittens of all varieties. And I'm really excited because, as I told you, uh, within the trunk show, the Vottologa is giving away uh, one of these books to a lucky winner. Claire of the Woolly Thistle is hosting two $25 uh, gift certificates for February and um, that that way we will draw uh, just before um, her knit along begins. Now when her knit along begins I will shift everything over uh, to participate in her knit along. So the year of the mitten will not end but it will um, continue and care, uh, Claire will just be leading it. So you'll continue to post with the hashtag and post over in Claire's um, Ravelry page and so on. It was so exciting uh, to share Pia of Camaborneas um, mitten patterns with those of you that won in January. I wanted so desperately to give everybody a, a pattern because um, yeah, so many people participated, but of course that's not possible. Pia lives from her patterns, so um, uh, it was wonderful to sponsor her uh, work in that way. And uh, I invite you to go over and to look in uh, her web shop and see all of her different patterns. I know Ann Mira is uh, offering discounts on her patterns. Uh, for the uh, New Hampshire knits. Um, she has a collection of men and women's mittens that um, they're absolutely stunning. I told you that I'm casting on the, um, yeah, I can't remember what they're called right now, but they're perfect uh, fit for going skiing. 
So I have that um, already picked out and wound up and I'm gonna get those started. But Claire has all of the designers that are offering discounts and prizes and yeah, it's gonna be an exciting time. Of course, Claire's Mitten Along is always extremely exciting. So, that is pretty much my week. I want to thank you all. I'm wearing my, my, um, I can't even remember the name of this shawl. Um, it's knit in Let Lopi, and it was a knit along that I participated with, uh, Monique, um, and she had this knit along. You can find all the information on my Instagram. You can find a link to Monique's, uh, Instagram feed as well. She makes beautiful knitting bags. And uh, I knit it to match this uh, this dress of mine. It's exactly the same colors. And uh, I, you know, love to just wrap up in it and uh, when it's a blustery kind of a day. So that's really what I wanted to share with you friends this week. Um, I'm excited about the trunk show coming up. I'm just waiting for the rest of the mittens to come. I'm really excited for everyone to receive their book in the post um, so that we can really dig deep into this book and start to knit together and, yeah, enjoy the stories that are connected. And, um, yeah, yeah. I, I probably will definitely knit these mittens. I did not knit these mittens uh, at the time. This is not one of the mittens that I knit, but it's one of the ones I've always wanted to knit. And I think now um, it was just destiny that I should uh, be able to hold these and be inspired and get them cast on. Uh, what's really fun is I have a lot of leftover uh, red and white uh, from uh, Ellie's yoke and then I started thinking oh I might do them uh, with white and um, red with that extra yarn so I might get those cast on yeah maybe tomorrow or tonight I'm looking forward to knitting those so I hope it's going really well in your knitting bag books that you're reflecting and that you're hydrating yourself and that you're making sure that you get all your steps in or your movement in during the day, um, that you're reaching out to someone um, and offering inspiration and yeah, taking good care of yourself as well and yeah, monitoring your food that you're eating as close to the earth as possible. And uh, yeah, if you have other crafts or um, inspirational quotes that you're writing all of those down, I notice as the light is coming back, um, uh, I have a lot more energy and um, I notice my movement and my activity and my accomplishments are a lot more. So last week, uh, yeah, last week was much easier to reflect and and to reach out and yeah when I was taking much better care of my own self so I will be back again friends in the coming week I wish you a beautiful week please if you want to contact me uh, message me on Instagram or go to my blog on my website and write me a comment or share your story via email um, I read every single thing that is sent to me uh, through orders, through comments, or on Instagram, or um, uh, through direct messages. I read them all, and they inspire me greatly. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.